Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome. You are at the Carolinas Association of Collegiate Registrars and Admissions Officers Virtual College Fair powered by StriveScan. My name is Sibel Rasim. I will be your facilitator for this evening. Thank you all so, so much for being here. We really, really appreciate it. You're about to learn some amazing information about some absolutely amazing institutions. So definitely make sure you have a, a pen and a notepad or maybe open up your, your notes in your phone and definitely be taking notes throughout the entire session. We are here uh, for about 45 minutes. So time definitely flies when you're having a good time as we all know. So I just wanna make sure everything goes smoothly in this, in this uh, college fair. So just a couple housekeeping items for you all. First and foremost, we absolutely encourage questions. Please ask the questions. That's what we're here for. So the way that you're gonna ask questions is by clicking on the Q&A button in your Zoom toolbar and go ahead and type in those questions to the presenters at any time. I stress at any time because as we all know, 45 minutes is not a ton of time. So please do not wait until the last minute to ask those questions as we may not have time to answer all of them if they are last minute questions. Also, when you are asking a question, please make sure to put the institution's name within your question so we all know who the question goes to. Before I move on to the next point, fun fact, although you cannot interact with the presenters on the chat back and forth, the presenters might actually put some cool information like their contact info or maybe a link they want you to check out in the chat. So if you do see a notification in the chat, go ahead and check it out um, and go ahead and get that information from them. All right. Now, also, you're muted and your video is turned off, so the panelists cannot see or hear you. That's why it's super important that you go ahead and interact with us by asking questions through that Q&A. Uh, also sign up for more sessions. This is one of many, many college presentations offered. So there is more sessions happening for the next time slot, as well as more sessions uh, later on in the spring for the same fair. So go ahead and check those out in the same page that you registered for this one. Last but not least, maybe mom missed out on tonight, or maybe dad wants to check out these schools, or maybe a friend wants to go to a, one of these schools with you, uh, or maybe you just want to relive the fun with us. I definitely don't blame you, and you can actually do that by checking out the recording. All these sessions are being recorded uh, recorded, and will be available at strivescan.com backslash Carolinas. With that said, I would love to get started. Our first institution up for this evening is Fayetteville Technical Community College. Hello everyone, my name's Angela Sykes and I'm one of the recruiters here at Fayetteville Tech. Also joining us tonight is my partner in crime, Reed Rizzolo. And we would like to tell you a little bit about what FTCC has to offer and how we can help you reach your college goals. Okay, let's get started. So why should you consider a community college? For one, it's more, a more affordable way to go to school. And we'll talk a little more about cost later in the presentation. Not everyone must attend a four-year school to be successful. You can complete your first two years at FTCC and transfer to a four-year school and save anywhere from $10,000 to $50,000. You can stay close to home and let mom still cook your dinner. Our classes are much smaller, so you get more one-on-one -on -one attention than you would at a large four-year school. On average, our classes are about 24 students per classroom. At a large four-year school, your freshman English class can hold anywhere from 100 to 150 students per class. With that many students, your teacher isn't able to give you the attention that you may need. You won't have that problem here. And we offer daytime, evening, and online classes. We offer many free services to our students. If you're having trouble with any subject matter, whether it's math, English, science, or languages, you can go to the Student Learning Center where they have faculty tutors who can help you. We have computer labs that are open Monday through Friday from 8 to 9.45 p.m. and Saturdays until noon. We also have a Disability Services Office if you have an IEP or a physical disability, we offer services such as note takers, private testing rooms, or even extended test times if you need it. If you are hearing impaired, we can also give you some sign language interpreters to help you out. We also have a library for your convenience, which offers private individual and group study rooms. We have a fitness center, which only costs students $5 a semester. FTCC offers an, an athletics programs, and we are a member of the NJCAA. We offer men and women's basketball, 
men's baseball, women's softball, and volleyball. If you're interested in any of our athletics programs and you would like to try out for one of these teams, you may contact the Director of Athletics at 910-486-3630. We offer over 300 programs. Did you know that we're the only school in the state that offers funeral service? It can be done online. Many of our programs have articulation agreements with colleges so that you can start with them as a junior. You can also complete just one to two years in one of our career technical and trades programs, which is designed to get you into the job market quickly. Health programs have a competitive process for admissions. These are the only programs that require that. And they also have a deadline to apply, and that's January 30th every year for the fall semester. I would like to take a minute to talk about our transfer programs. They are designed to transfer to a four-year school under articulation agreements with our university partnerships. You complete your first two years at FTCC, then transfer in as a junior to the school of your choice. Now, with that being said, you need to contact your school of choice to make sure that you're taking the courses that they require you to take while you're here. Some of the benefits of our transfer programs that our students have are better study habits when they get to a four-year school. And the best part is you can save ten dollars to $15,000 a year. In-state tuition at a community college is $76 per credit hour. The average semester will cost you about $1,000. That equates to $2,000 a year. A four-year college can cost you $25,000 a year or more depending on the college. If you need help paying for school, you may have you have many resources available to you. There are grants, scholarships, student loans, and payment plans. If you're a high school senior, you may want to look into a Presidential Foundation scholarship. You must complete the FAFSA for all of these. Our school code is 007640, and you can also visit our Financial Aid Service Center for help. Our admissions process is simple, and we have an open door policy. That means you just have to graduate from high school, then apply. Just complete the online application and have your high school to send your transcripts to our admissions office. And the best part is there's no testing requirement, no ACT or SAT scores, nothing. So that concludes our presentation. And we're ready for your questions. And you may reach us at recruiters at faytechcc.edu. Awesome, thank you so, so much. If you have any questions for Fayetteville Technical Community College, please put it down on the Q&A at the bottom. Next up, we have Elizabeth City State University. Good evening, everyone. My name is Fisher McInville. I'm one of the freshman admissions counselors here at the Elizabeth City State University. We were founded in 1891, and fun fact about us, we are the most affordable UNC school in the state of North Carolina and the most affordable HBCU in the entire country. So up next, I'm about to provide a five-minute video, and then I will conclude with 30 seconds to spare. So let's go ahead and get started. Our strategic plan that we have titled Forging Our Future is a plan for the university's outlook as we build a map of where we want to go for the future. One focus is growth and then also building our regional development. And then we want to look at ways in which we can enhance our capital. You know, how do we attract people here to want to work, to want to live in this area of Northeastern North Carolina? And I'm very proud of our students and they never forget their past, but it becomes part of their story, part of their journey. And it becomes part of their narrative that they are even more anxious and excited to share and talk about. We always say we want our students to come here to discover their passions, but leave to conquer their dreams. And here, I think they will definitely get that opportunity to do exactly that. Be the difference at Elizabeth City State University and discover your strength, ignite your passion, and prepare to make a difference in the world. Be a teacher, be a pilot, be an entrepreneur. Be a scientist, be the difference at ECSU. Whether you want to educate the next generation of students, fly the blue skies, own your own business, or be a scientist, 
you can discover your passion at ECSU. From aviation, education, and business to the arts, homeland security, and technology, ECSU prepares students to compete in the global workforce. You can conquer your dreams at ECSU with over 30 undergraduate and four graduate degree programs, including both online degree options and face-to-face -face course instruction. Elizabeth City State University is a proud NC Promise campus, which means tuition is only $500 per semester for in-state students and $2,500 per semester for out-of-state students. As the most affordable public university in the University of North Carolina system, you can be the difference at ECSU with an affordable, high-quality education. ECSU believes everyone should have access to higher education and will work with you to provide resources to help you obtain your degree. Such resources include federal and state grants, state and institutional scholarships, employment opportunities, and student loans. Students looking for a quality, affordable education in a nurturing, supportive environment will find it at ECSU. At ECSU, size does matter, and ECSU's small size equates to small classes and one-on-one -on -one attention from professors. Students know their classmates, their professors, and they know that the ECSU faculty and staff are committed to their academic success. But ECSU also understands the importance of providing safe and comfortable spaces for its students to rest, dine, study, and relax. For students interested in living on campus, ECSU offers the choice of premier residential halls equipped with suite style apartments and single or double occupancy rooms. Each residence hall features lounge areas, laundry facilities, key card entry, handicap accessibility, computer rooms, internet, cable TV, and telephone access. Outdoor solar charging stations are also available for student use. In addition to quality living spaces for students, ECSU has a friendly and highly trained staff available around the clock to provide assistance. The ECSU Office of Housing and Residence Life is there to provide students with a comfortable and secure community living environment that is engaging and educationally purposeful. For more information on room rates and availability, contact the Office of Housing and Residence Life. ECSU Campus Dining is another way to feel at home. Students can relax, enjoy different events and theme nights, monthly specials, and an array of tasty food choices. Meal plans designed to accommodate your lifestyle are available and include a mix of traditional and nutritious menu options. Whether on the go, an early bird, or a casual diner, we are sure to fulfill your expectations. The Bedell Dining Hall provides a variety of meal options and times to meet students' needs. Additional dining is also available at Viking Subs and Austin Grill in the Ridley Student Center. Welcome to ECSU, where your success, safety, and comfort matter. All right, so that's my time limit, but I hope you enjoyed that video. We'll be taking questions, and our mascot is the Mighty Vikings. So thank you for allowing me to present to the students. Awesome. Thank you so much. If you have any questions for Elizabeth City State University, please put it down in the Q&A. Next up, we have Fayetteville State University. Thank you so much. Um, so first, thank everyone for tuning in today. Um, I know you probably are Zoomed out from school all day, so I will keep it short. Uh-oh. That out. Okay, so just to give you all some background on Fayetteville State University, um, we were founded in 1867 and we are home of the Broncos and we have several Broncos on the call today. Um, right here on our campus, we are looking at around maybe 7,000 students that attend our institution. So our ratio is very comfortable. You're looking at a 17 to one ratio with our students, meaning you know your professors, your professors know you, 
your professors know if you're coming to class or not. Um, so those are some things you want to look for when you're looking into your institutions. You have to look at that class size. Um, when it comes down to our academic programs, we have around 33 bachelor's programs, 17 master's degrees, as well as one doctoral program in educational leadership. Um, some of our top programs include nursing, we have the number one nursing department in the southeastern region. So if you are looking to um, have any questions today, we have all of our links that will be in the chat box. We also have a fun major, including our business, our psychology and criminal justice program. 16 of which these programs are offered online. So I know we're in the era of COVID. You may not be comfortable with coming to campus just yet. Um, or moving away from home. So we are looking to give students that option to do online learning. Um, at Fayetteville State University, we offer eight week classes. We have 16 week classes. And then in the summer, our classes are only four weeks. So you still have time to go to the pool, the beach and relax um, while taking your courses. Um, with our institution, we are looking at having um, our SAT scores and ACT scores waived for 2021. So when you are applying, which I'll get into in a little bit, um, some things that'll keep you uh, apart or make you competitive, you have to look into your personal statement. And so with your personal statement, we want to know about you. It's only 250 words, but we really want to dig down into what kind of student you are and how we can address those issues when you come to our campus. A few scholarships that we have, uh, we have our Valeria Fleming, if you are a STEM major. We have our North Carolina Debt-Free Scholarship. So if you are a early college student, we offer the debt-free scholarship, which covers the additional two years that you have left. So imagine getting a full ride after you already have your associate's degree and your high school diploma under your belt. So you can't beat that at all. Um, we also have the Hackley's Global Scholarship as well as our merit-based scholarships. Um, so of course, the merit-based scholarships, those come directly from the Office of Admissions. So there's nothing additional that you have to submit. Uh, we're strictly just gonna look at your GPA this year but if you have tested, those are some things that will kind of set you apart with your application. Go next. Just some things that we've recently implemented. Um, we do have a three plus two engineering program with NC State University. Um, that includes civil, computer, chemical, and electrical engineering. So pretty much you do three years with Fayetteville State University, and then you do the additional two years with NC State University. So you're getting the best of both worlds with the five-year plan, you can't beat that. Some um, professional, pre-professional majors that we currently offer um, include pre-med, pre-dental, pre-pharmacy, as well as pre-vet. Um, these courses are listed under chemistry as well as biology. So if you are looking to go out to med school, uh, we will prepare you for that. Um, and with those programs and those classes, a lot of those labs is gonna be a lot of one-on-one -on -one training. Same thing with nursing, same thing with our psychology majors. We're gonna make sure that you are well-prepared before you leave our campus. A fun new major that we just recently added is e-gaming. So shout out to my gamers out there who are probably ready to hop on 2K right now, um, but we now offer e-gaming as an actual major. And so we compete against different schools. Um, we have several competitions that we participate in each and every Saturday. Um, so why not start making some money for something that you have as a, as a hobby? There's a lot of money in that world. So definitely check out our e-gaming program. Um, and then I also wanted to note that with our pre-law, 95% of our students get accepted into law programs. So again, we have those internships that we will provide our students with. We have our support services that are also free um, as well as our extracurricular activities. So uh, we want you to come to school, but we also want you to have fun. So we have over 120 clubs and organizations. So you can't be bored unless you just wanna sit in your room all day. Um, but for my commuter students, we also have autos commuters clubs. So if you're not living on campus, which is not um, required, then you can join our autos team. We also have Greek life, including our sororities and fraternities. Uh, we have our intramural club sports and we're a division two school, a part of the CIAA conference. So if you are looking to join one of our athletic teams, we take walk-ons just like everyone else. So you don't have to be recruited. Um, I know recruitment season was a little bit different this year, but those options are still available for our students. Just to get into our tuition, our tuition is a little under 17,000 per year. That includes your dorm. We have over nine dorms on campus. That includes your orientation, activity fees, 
and books are free at Fable State University. So you're not having to buy them on Amazon or eBay. <laughs> the books are already provided for you. So all you have to do is apply. Our application fee is $50 and we take um, waivers as well. And I want to encourage you to join us this Saturday with our spring open house. So be sure to drop your questions in the Q&A. Thanks. Awesome, thank you so much. If you have any questions for Fayetteville State University, please put it in the Q&A at the bottom. Next up, we have Augusta University. Beautiful, well, thank you so much for uh, having me and I'm excited to share a little bit about uh, Augusta University uh, located in Augusta, Georgia. So um, Augusta University was actually founded in 1828. Uh, located again in Augusta, Georgia. We're right on the border actually of South Carolina. Uh, and so with that comes uh, scholarships for South Carolina and North Carolina students. So please reach out if you have uh, questions about those scholarships. We're always happy to, to offer those. That will take care of your uh, out-of-state portion of tuition. Now we are a mixture of a liberal arts and a health uh, science uh, college. We're actually a four-year research public university, uh, but we do have a variety of things that you can study. Uh, we are closing in on about 10,000 uh, uh, total students at, at the university. Um, class sizes are going to be probably around 25 to 30. So um, even with that 10,000 uh, number that, that you hear me say about the, uh, the total student uh, uh, population on campus, we are at a 16 to 1 student faculty ratio. And so while we're about a mid-tier university, it won't even feel that way when you're on campus. Uh, you really get to bond with your classmates and your professors. Uh, they have an open door policy, so you're welcome to go in and uh, speak with your uh, professors anytime that you would like. Uh, we actually have two specialty programs, three actually. Uh, we, we call them the Scholars Program, uh, BSMD or seven year program, very highly sought after from across the country. These are straight pathways into med school and dental school. Uh, now I mentioned that we are, uh, we're a four-year research institution. We actually house the state's only public medical school, uh, and we actually house the state's only dental school. Uh, and so we do have a lot of uh, reputation there on, uh, on that side of things, uh, to say the least. Uh, we do have over 149 uh, academic programs and over 170 student organizations, which we'll definitely discuss here in a few minutes. Now, last year, as with the, the years previous, uh, we've actually been able to set records with our uh, incoming freshmen, and we're really proud of that. Um, but this just uh, uh, kind of gives you an idea of, of what enrollment looks like. So we enrolled about uh, a little over 1,000 students, with 12% of that being first-generation students, 71% uh, uh, with uh, first-year retention. Uh, and you can see the ratio there, 35% male, 65% female. But um, though we have a large number coming from Georgia, because we are located in the state of Georgia, the number of South Carolina and North Carolina students coming this way and, and crossing over the border is increasing uh, what seems like every year. So, uh, very exciting to, uh, to see that happen. Now, in terms of location, I know a lot of people tend to ask, where is Augusta? I know you're in Georgia and nat naturally, when you think Georgia, you just think far away, especially if you're in North Carolina. But this gives you an idea of where we are located on a map. And everything that you see within that shadow circle is actually within about two, two and a half uh, hours. And so to, to Greenville, Charlotte, Charleston, Savannah, Atlanta, it's all about two hours. And so you're really close to everything here in Augusta, Georgia. Lots of friends and families are always uh, joking with me about how I'm close to everything here in Augusta. So a lot of our students on the weekends love to go to the different cities. Um, there's, there's plenty of places that you can go. Um, but uh, just to mention as well, since this image is on Broad Street, Broad Street is uh, one of our main streets downtown uh, by um, our, our campus. And uh, to make a point, so in December, actually, Netflix sponsored Broad Street downtown Augusta uh, for a big Christmas display. So just want to bring that up. I think it's a really fun point that uh, 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 Augusta, Georgia is being recognized on that level, but it's a great location again. Now, um, in terms of majors, what are some of our top undergraduate majors? Well, biology, some molecular biology, you have a lot of health science majors that start from that route. Uh, we actually have the biggest nursing program in the state of Georgia. Uh, so nursing is a huge one. Psychology, health services, kinesiology, if you're interested in going the PT, OT route, uh, business uh, admin, uh, we have a pretty much perfect placement rating for our uh, accounting students and, and a lot of our students on the business side of things and computer science is huge we've actually been dubbed uh, the cyber hub of the southeast and so we're uh, now offering 
cyber security, cyber engineering, cyber operations, uh, as well as computer science and IT. So we've grown immensely on that side of things. And now they have their own campus dedicated to cybersecurity, which is really neat. Now, student life and engagement, uh, as my previous colleague over here said, uh, from Fayetteville, we, we want you to come and study, but we also want you to have a good time and have fun. And so uh, we do have 176 student organizations. And while that's really impressive and we can talk all day about how many things that we have to offer, I think it's important to note uh, that people actually show up for these events too, right? So last year, uh, we actually ran those numbers and had over 28,000 check-ins across the board. And uh, considering that we have about 10,000 students total, that tells you that uh, our students are going to multiple events or they're coming back to events and they're very engaged uh, and they enjoy what we're doing on campus. And so I think that speaks volumes to say the least. Homecoming is, is definitely the highlight. Uh, we have a huge step show. Uh, we actually have a host come from Wild and Out on MTV that comes and hosts during uh, homecoming for the uh, step show. And we have a lot of other uh, concerts and events that happen uh, here in the area. So it's such a great, uh, great thing to, to see those opportunities that our students have. Uh, we actually had over 380 kayak rentals. So if you uh, has, uh, remember seeing the map, we're split. Uh, so the river actually spit, uh, splits Georgia and South Carolina. So we're right on the Savannah River. So we offer those opportunities for our students to be able to do that. Uh, we have 120 intramural teams and had over 1,100 intramural participants. So again, all that to say, very, very active campus. And this just gives you an idea of the admissions checklist, um, uh, average scores, SAT, ACT. So um, this just kind of gives you an outlook there. But feel free to reach out to us anytime you need anything. Um, we're happy to help and we, uh, we hope to see you across the border soon. Awesome, thank you so much. If you have any questions for Augusta University, please put it down in the Q&A at the bottom. Next up, we have Virginia Commonwealth University. Hi, my name is Brandy, and I'm your North Carolina Regional Recruiter for Virginia Commonwealth University. I look forward to sharing information with you this evening. Please feel free to screenshot the slides, um, take notes, and drop your questions in the chat room if you have any. So I wanted to just give you some brief information. Um, founded in 1968, we are one dynamic institution with two different campus locations um, in downtown Richmond, Virginia. And we are home to Division I sports, as well as over 500 student organizations. Now, not only do we uh, value diversity in our student body, but we also value it in our educational offerings. So as a result, you will find that we have three colleges and 11 schools, as well as almost 70 majors and a similar number of minors and certificate programs. So this will provide students with a large number of pathways to just explore different degrees and careers. Now I wanna highlight just a few of those programs. So we have our College of Health Professions, which includes our medical school, our dental school, our pharmacy program, as well as our nursing, physical therapy, and more. And then our arts program, the School of Arts is number two public arts program in the entire nation and number four overall. And then we also have a College of Business that ranks in the top 5% of business schools in the entire world. And lastly, our College of Engineering um, offers a large number of experiential learning opportunities through a research-based curriculum and disciplines such as biomedical, chemical, electrical, and mechanical engineering, as well as a program in computer science. And then we have an honors college that is a program for our highest achieving VCU students, um, where there are 1,000 students across majors with a four-year curriculum that includes small seminars, lecture series, social events, um, and so forth, even study abroad when that opportunity presents itself again. And Honors College actually um, takes part in what we call living learning communities. And we have a guaranteed admission program. So if you're admissible through Honors College for guaranteed admission, that means you'll have a guaranteed seat in our medical, pharmacy, dental, or nursing programs. So that, that is um, something that I want to share with you all. Um, so let's take a look at, um, we talk about VCU, we have to talk about the city of Richmond. You'll be going to school and living in a dynamic uh, urban environment where we'll give you a chance for a large number of volunteer and internship opportunities. In fact, 50% of our recent graduates have completed at least two internships in their time at VCU. Um, and in the winter of 2020, the New York Times listed Richmond as one of the 52 places in the world that everyone needs to visit. So according to the paper, Richmond is a vibrant cultural center on the cutting edge of arts and recreation. 
And then we have, um, we have the James River Park system with class three, class four rapids for students who like rafting, kayaking, or paddle boarding. So it's just something to really think about. Um, then you're close to DC, you're close to North Carolina mountains and beaches. So you can stray away a little bit and then come back. <laughs> Now, when we take a look at this screen, we definitely want you to see that um, we are, uh, we consider ourselves a pretty large institution, but that's subjective. It really depends on what you're used to. As a new RAM, you'll be joining a community that's 31,000 students strong, of which 24,000 are undergrads, and about 4,000 other freshman students will be alongside you at the start of that particular semester, especially if you're coming in in 2021. Now, with a large student population, we have a student faculty ratio of 18 to 1 with an average class size of 27 students. And that tends to narrow down as you matriculate through your years of undergraduate studies and you start to take your programs within your major. So that's something to definitely keep in mind there. Now, when you look at these dates, I wanted to make sure um, that um, even if you're not entering in fall 2021, just know that um, it's gonna be around the same time frame. So typically, if you're interested in those merit-based scholarships, such as presidential, provost, or deans, that will cover your entire tuition, or, or if not, it'll absorb most of it. You wanna apply by November 1st. Um, also, January 15th is regular decision deadline. So if you apply by January 15th, you'll be guaranteed to hear back at least by April 1st. When you see the middle 50% GPA range on this screen, that's a 3.39 to 4.06. That just means that we don't have an average student. So we had about 25 students um, who scored higher and 25% who had lower than what you see on that screen. And then we were test optional for those who entered spring 2021 and fall 2021. But for those who submitted test scores, um, they had 1060 to 1250. That was the middle 50% range and 25% had higher, 25% had lower. So we wanna make sure you keep that in mind. Um, also, we just want you to know that we are a campus with no boundaries. And so when you take a look at VCU, um, we have multiple opportunities to experience our institution. I stated that we have the two campuses, uh, two campus locations that will be the Monroe Park campus, which is our main campus. And then two miles down the street, we have our Medical College of Virginia, which is a Fortune 500 company. Um, so we have those two campus locations. And then we have the Satellite School of the Arts in Qatar. Um, and then we have opportunities for you to enjoy online, on site and or hybrid. So we have so many opportunities for you to experience VCU um, in traditional ways and non-traditional ways. And as you can see on the screen, that's our contact information if you want to explore just a little bit more. So keep in mind, again, our Honors College is for those highest achieving students, but if you're interested in guaranteed admission program into one of our professional graduate schools, such as pharmacy, medical, dental, or nursing, those programs, then you have to submit test scores only for guaranteed admission. Um, thank you, and I hope that you've enjoyed the information I shared today, and I look forward to seeing some of your questions. Awesome, thank you so much. If you have any questions for Virginia Commonwealth University, please put it down in the Q&A at the bottom. Next up, we have Campbell University. Oh, William, I think you're uh, muted. I apologize, this is my first time, as you, can, as you can tell. Um, but good afternoon, guys. My name is William Combo. Um, I'm from uh, Jackson, North Carolina, and I serve in the capacity of an admissions counselor here at Campbell University. Um, students, if you have any questions, I have my colleague up here, um, Kayla McCoy, and she's here to address any questions. And I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen with you guys. All right, let's get it going, guys. Um, so Campbell University, we are a private, medium-sized, Christian-based university. Uh, we like to say that we are located right in the heart of North Carolina. Uh, we are comprised of three different um, campuses, one being our undergraduate campus. Um, our se second campus, excuse me, is our health science campus, which is literally one mile down the road. Um, and our third campus is our law school, which is located in Raleigh, North Carolina. Um, and you're thinking about Campbell University, well, where is Campbell University located? Um, as you can see right here, kind of painted out a picture of a map of where we're located. As you can see, um, as I stated before, we are located in the heart um, of North Carolina, being in between one of the biggest metropolitan areas in North Carolina with Raleigh, 
um, Durham and Chapel Hill being 45 minutes away. As you can see, we have Greensboro, Charlotte, Wilmington, um, some of the other various um, uh, areas where students love to visit and, and, and spend time on their weekend and on their free time um, as well. Um, just giving you some numbers um, comprised about total 6,000 students um, who are undergraduate students and graduate students as well. Um, within those 6,000 students attending, 79% of those students are from North Carolina, 20% um, are out of state, um, and 1% are international. Uh, within 50 states, 46 states are represented at Campbell University, um, as well as 40 countries are represented as well. Um, here are some things um, also to, to take into consideration. We do have a 16 to 1 student to faculty ratio. Um, when you're talking about um, your average class size, our average class size here at Campbell University is about 20 to 25 students. Um, and we have roughly um, about 80%, 83% of our faculty here obtain the highest degrees um, in the field of study of where they teach. Um, right here is um, some requirements for our admissions process. Uh, we do have an ongoing admissions process um, all year all, all year along. Um, so you can apply as early as your junior year. Um, of course, with the application, we ask students to submit um, a transcript um, with that official transcript, as well as SAT and ACT scores. Um, now we were understanding that um, students couldn't get out because of COVID and COVID had a lot of dilemma on you know, preventing students from taking those supplemental tests. Um, so we um, introduced the test flex option on that application this year. Um, so a test flex option is available on the application. Test Test flex option, if the student answer yes, um, then you're giving us to the go ahead to uh, review your application and make an admission decision based upon your high school GPA on your transcript. Um, and if you state no, um, then of course we'll have to look at your transcript as well as your SAT and ACT scores as well. Um, and as you see to the right, some of our benchmark scores, um, unweighted GPA of a 265, um, having an ACT composite no less than a 17, um, and an SAT um, with a math and reading combined of an 880. Um, now I'm going to go into probably our three most popular um, schools. Um, we are comprised of eight schools. Within those eight schools, we have um, offer our students over 150 um, different major tracks and con um, concentrations, excuse me. Um, so I'm going to start right here with our School of Engineering. Our School of Engineering, we offer mechanical, um, chemical, pharmaceutical, as well as electrical engineering. Uh, we do a lot of hands-on activities um, as early as the freshman year. Our students do three hands-on projects as freshmen, um, which includes a salt a saltwater um, fish tank, um, as well as a robot um, as well. Um, going transitioning to our nursing program, as well as our health sciences program, uh, which is definitely big. So if you're interested in anything of, um, within biology uh, related, then we do offer pre-veterinary and pre-dental, um, pre-autometry, pre-physical therapy, um, and pre-physician assistant, um, just to give you an idea. Um, but just to headline our nursing program, as you can see, um, some of the clinical rotations starting as early as that first semester. So getting that, that gain that hands-on experience as early as your first year. Um, and as you see that you apply to nursing school during the sophomore year, uh, we have about a 93% um, NCLX um, passage rate and 100% job seeking um, grass employment. Um, and as you see at the bottom, some of our notable and um, notable uh, hospitals as well that some of our students has gone on and did um, internships as well as got job opportunities there as well. Um, this is a larger scale of what our health sciences look like. Um, also, as you can see, um, it's, uh, it's the home of our osteopathic school of medicine. Um, here at Campbell, we do have the only osteo osteopathic school of medicine um, in the state of North Carolina. Um, nextly, our Lundy Fetterman School of Business. Um, our school of business um, has about seven different eight different concentrations that you can choose from. Um, everything from accounting, economics, and trust and wealth management. Uh, we do offer an MBA four plus one program uh, for students that a lot of students um, take um, initiative and, and you know do that because um, you can get your graduate, I mean, you can get your bachelor's degree as well as your master's degree um, in a total of five years. Uh, so you're saving one year of tuition as well as one year um, of your time. Um, just to highlight our school of business, uh, we do have the only trust and wealth um, undergraduate trust and wealth management program in the country uh, with a 95% job placement, uh, job placement rating, excuse me. Um, and as you can see, some of the internships and jobs that our student has um, gone on and gotten that is um, below there. Um, and here are some student success options as well uh, for our students um, here at the bottom. Um, as far as we do um, our important academics, our students um, do have fun. So we have over 100 student clubs or organizations, um, 60 club intramural um, sports available, as well as 21 NCAA Division I athletics. Uh, we do have some student activities for our students um, as well, include, as you can see, some fun activities. Mud, volleyball is one of our um, favorite here. Um, just give you a, a brief 
um, synopsis of, of the, the Division I sports that we do offer here at Campbell University. Um, this is our brand new $35 million student union. Um, it's equipped with a 200 um, seat cinema as well as an 800 seat um, banquet hall. And I'm just gonna go through here. William, I, I know you're trying to get through your slides, but I'm sorry, I gotta cut you off there. <laughs> All right, <laughs> yes, ma'am, definitely. I appreciate that. Um, definitely visit us. And lastly, if you have any questions, um, see us at the admissions. Thank you. Awesome, thank you so much. If you have any questions uh, for William at Campbell University, please go ahead and put it in the Q&A. Uh, you do have about another minute or so to go ahead and do that as we are wrapping up uh, the rest of our night or our evening here at the virtual college fair. Give me one second, let me go ahead and share my slides. And also my, uh, my panelists, you're more than welcome to go ahead and join me and turn your videos on. Let me... Uh share my screen here perfect we are good to go awesome awesome all right everybody thank you all so so much i mean i really appreciate it i know i learned a lot about your amazing institutions and i'm pretty sure that our attendees definitely learned a lot about uh, your institutions as well i hope that they were taking some notes um, or at least got your contact information to be able to follow up with you all if they had any questions. Uh, with that said, I just do have a quick few reminders for my attendees this evening. And my attendees, thank you for sticking with us. 45 minutes, I can understand lots of information getting thrown at you, but I hope you had a good time and learned some amazing uh, information. So thank you so much for joining us. Uh, before we kind of head out really quickly, after you close this window, a very quick, I mean, the words literally are on the screen, very quick four question survey will appear. Uh, so go ahead and just give us some feedback. We really, really appreciate it. Also sign up for more sessions. We have more sessions going on for the next time slot, but we will also have more sessions later on in the spring. So the same page or the same website that you registered for this virtual college fair, you will also go ahead and uh, find those sessions at that uh, site as well. Last but not least, if somebody missed out on the fun tonight or maybe you wanna uh, relive or maybe you wanna catch some more information that you couldn't this evening, go ahead and check out the recording. It's a really good option to be able to take your time through some of the information. And a recording will be available at strivescan.com backslash Carolinas. Once again, you all, thank you all so, so much for joining us and I hope you all have a great night. Thanks everybody. Bye.